Hi, everybody. It's me, Sailor Moon. And it's me, Sailor Mini Moon here. And today we're going to talk about homosexuality and Sailor Moon. Now, when talking about this, it is very controversial over how it was handled. It's argued over what you what should have been done, what should not been done. Now, in Sailor Moon, homosexuality was expressed in maybe only in one way. Now, in season one, you had Zoifite and Quinfite. Whatever names you want to give them, you know, that's up to you. And they were in a homosexual relationship. Now, the details about this relationship are unknown. Nobody knows how they came together. Nobody knows exactly when it happened. But all they know is that somehow it happened. And because now you got to remember in the early days, now it was more acceptable and more taunted. But back then, it was something that was frowned down upon, especially if done on television or heard on radio or any, anything like that. So in the early days, you had to find ways of presenting it without getting a backlash. And that meant by changing things up. So Zoicite became a female because they did not want to have a backlash from people who were either, one, intolerant, two, uneducated about about sexual orientation, or three, people who just didn't think that was appropriate. Now, it doesn't just end there, of course. That wasn't the only time it was ever shown in Sailor Moon. On season three, you had Sailor, Uran Sailor Uranus, Say Uranus and Sela Neptune, who were also in a relationship too. Now the details about their relationship were always remaining a mystery. No one knows how they met or how it came to be. And the only thing that Pioneer did was call them cousins. Now some people argued that everybody knew what they were and knew what their sexual preference was. And calling them cousins was not a fix. But apparently, Pioneer felt that that was a better fix, even though it didn't quite work. Now, at least in Deke's case, they were able to change the gender around. In this case, there really wasn't nothing you could do. So, that's all they could do. And then just hope that that was enough to present any backlashing effect. People who were intolerant or uneducated about sexual orientation at the time and stuff. Now, by the time the fourth season came along, you had Fisheye, who was a cross-dresser. And that wasn't such a big deal, but once again, because of the intolerance and the on and the unacceptance back then, you had to change, Pioneer had to change him to a her. Now, can I go on now, Sailor Moon? It doesn't end there, of course. It gets more more complicated. By the fifth season, you had the Sailor Starlight, Sailor Star Maker, Sailor Star Healer, and Sailor Star Sailor, I guess. And the three of them were actually two males and one female. But when they transformed, they had to become female, at least in body part, because of the role that Nako Takaguchi came up with, saying that only girls could be soldiers. So... They had to transform into females after that. And that season was never ever adapted or adapted, except not commercially. But Viz does plan on doing it in the future for the first time. But um, that never saw the light of day until that point. Now, a lot of people argue that it should have been an okay thing. But now... People are more accepting, they're more open-minded towards it, and they're more tolerant towards or sexual orientations, as it's also called, or a sexual pro pro or a sexual preference, whatever you want to call it. Some people are going to argue about how people, if it's a choice or it's not, that's not really, you know, the focus of this video. Now, a lot of people are going to complain that that it should have been that way during that time, but it wasn't. Um, people were unaccepting of it, intolerant of it, 
and uneducated about it, so they always assumed the worse. There were stigmas and stereotypes over it. And when you're dealing with people who are not, you know, accepting or open-minded or tolerant of something, you have to do something that's not going to upset them. Now, you can make the argument today that it would have not been a big deal now, that people would have been okay with Zoe Sight and couldn't fight in their relationship, or at least you make the argument they were okay with Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune or Fisheye, for example, and his cross-dressingness. You can make an argument that they would have been okay with Sailor Starlights. And, you know, Maker, Healer, and Fighter. But the truth is now they would be okay with it. Now people are more accepting of it, more tolerant of it. They're more under, have more understanding of it. You know, now it would not have been a big deal. Back then it would have been a, back then it was a big deal to these people. Now some people are going to argue about the forms of dealing with it. Did it act, would it, did it make any sense? Now some people are going to argue that, you know, changing names or changing relationships or, you know, changing genders was an appropriate way to handle it. During the time, I felt that that's how the Deke felt that was the only way that they could possibly make it appropriate for the attended audience, or at least so they wouldn't, so at least they're denied, so at least they could take their a liability for the show. You know, they had some liability and they could at least claim that they did everything they could to prevent the backlash. Now, some people are going to argue Pioneer basically should have not said Cousins, but once again, Pioneer was trying to avoid all liability with it by taking the liability, by trying to change it. So at least if there was any backlash that occurred, they could say, well, at least we tried to do something about it. And to tell you the truth, I don't really think there was any way they could have changed it without, you know, because I'm sure that there any way they could have changed it without offending or upsetting someone. Because now, since homosexuality is more accepted, more you know, people are more accepting of it, more tolerant of it, more understanding of it now, it's not a big deal now, you know. Back then, yes, it was a big deal. Now, you can make the argument that before in this video that Sailor Moon's target audience outside in other countries was adult, okay? But as far as North America was concerned, it was children who were the target audience, though. Where in South America and Africa and Europe and, all, and you know, in Asia were adults, Maybe Australasia too, I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you think about homosexuality and Sailor Moon. Do you think that Deacon Pioneer handled it right? Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, see you later.